You can probably be way more than double on yours. Yeah. The Nichols yeah. Canyon. Nichols Canyon. That was it, a beautiful place. At least place. triple. It was rad. Did you ever have water going through the creek there? Oh, yeah. Most of the time it would go through until like this like multi-year drought happened. Yeah. But yeah, it like it tr- at least tripled. Like, Who were wow. your famous neighbors there? Didn't you have Henry oh, Rollins? Oh, Henry Rollins lived down the street. And wow. Yeah, the crazy thing was it wasn't like, um, you know, Steve... Um, and I don't know. Did you have a beef with Henry? Henry? I didn't have a beef with him, but we had this woman, this young, this young lass, uh-huh. uh, who, I mean, uh, there's no polite way to say it. She had been passed around the jackass cast, and uh, <laughs> and, and, and uh, Pontius and I even shared her at one time. You know, we had at this, the same time. At the same time. Was that the, was that the vagina it was, it was, it was, contest? It was a New no. Year's Day. It was no. January first of two thousand two. Okay. Like the jackass offices were just opening, but we had not started filming jackass. The, f- the first movie yet and uh new year's day we had done like every drug in the book the night before mushrooms and <laughs> and coke and ecstasy like like cocaine i mean dude it was ridiculous it was ridiculous it, this it was, was a party with like the whole cast like new there year's was Eve. a party but we ended up back <laughs> in my apartment with this young lass for your own party yeah for our own party and the sun was up but they, it was the i had a pull out sofa we were on the pull out sofa in the living room Wow. And this remarkable occurrence happened where we both emitted and it, it like it hit, we were on so many drugs we were on so many drugs it was like it happened in slow motion. I saw our semen flying through the air, both of our semen, and it landed it landed on this this woman at the exact same time coming from like different like like coming from, Oh, and that was when she said, "I wish I had two mouths," because that would have because that would have saved her from turning her head back and forth. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. But uh, wow. but but th- this this woman in particular, th- this 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 this, uh, this lady I speak of, yes, <laughs> had identified Henry Rollins as uh, a love interest. <laughs> Apparently, like uh, was she in town visiting him? Apparently, like she would make trips to spend time with with him, okay. and uh, and and so I just thought that was like so so fascinating, and and uh, I would try to press her for for information. We're, about we're both huge Rollins. Yeah, fans. we <laughs> love <laughs> like fans. We love Rollins. You're saying this <laughs> night you tried to, or like you, you would see her general. over That's and why over. That's why she was in town in general. Yeah, I, I think, think it might have been why she's in town to, was to visit him. Right, but I don't right. know. I can't say for sure. But I was like, I remember pressing her for information. I was like, so when you're making love with Henry Rollins, he grunts, right? Tell, I, I know he does. Come on, tell, tell me he grunts. Right. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I can't even confirm that they even had a relationship, but I just like... The, my, the idea my, is cool. The idea went, like my, I, I went crazy with it. Okay. And, and, uh, and I went on the Howard Stern show with that young lady. <laughs> okay. And she was doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I remember like... Really took her shirt off didn't she yeah immediately took her shirt off and she was rolling like a, she rolled a pool ball out of her boobs like onto a light bulb on my head breaking the light bulb like really cool. high level stuff sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh and, and i told howard stern all about my ideas of what i thought her relationship with mr rollins might have been like wow so i just assumed that Mr. Rollins was none too pleased with me. <laughs> right. But later he said he never even heard about any of it. Huh. <laughs> Which, do you I believe that? I, I don't believe it. Yeah, I mean, Who knows? I, well, to complete the story for people, because I've heard you tell this story before, when you when they did the tattoo, the off road right, tattoo the on you, tattoo, they told me it was going to be Nikki Six driving right. this Hummer. And I was like snorting cocaine off a picture of me and Nikki Six. Like, uh, waiting for my hero, Nikki Six, to show up. Like, as if he was going to be really impressed that I was snorting cocaine <laughs> off a picture of him. Because he was sober. Right. I think yeah. he was sober at that time. <laughs> you, you were doing this at the job site, waiting for the was doing, I was doing it on so set. So stoked. He was like a little set. boy. He's so excited to meet his Just hero doing again. Coke. I was doing it. I was blatant, dude. I was out in the open doing cocaine for the entire fucking first movie. The only scenes that I was not on cocaine for that whole first movie were the ones we filmed in Japan because I couldn't find cocaine in Japan. But Whoa. Uh, see, I'm just snorting, snorting coke, and they and uh, and they said, "Okay, dude, this SUV pulls up." 
They say, okay, Steve-O, you're a fucking hero. Nikki Six has arrived. Go up and fucking go greet him. Do they and know I it go, wasn't him? They're just and, and real I go, new. I go, I, go, I go up to the SUV and fucking Henry Rollins gets out. And I thought, oh, my God, this is a big thing. He's going to kick my ass because he hates me. <laughs> But he was nice as could be. Yeah, super nice. He was, he was, it was so, awkward, though. He was sober, too? He's always been sober, I think. Yeah. He's like a straight, straight edge, edge guy. Yeah. Yeah. Much, You're just yeah. like, <sighs> but wait, Chris, you guys knew. So was the prank just like, oh, it's not Nikki Six? Or was, uh, were, oh, we were all you knew. expecting yeah, we Henry like, Rollins? Oh, God, he's going to be so freaked out when, have when another Rollins line, shows Steve. up. <laughs> so you knew yeah, he'd be we scared. were so excited, yeah. Hey, you were there for that? Yeah. Come oh, yeah. Did you think Henry Rollins was going to beat him up? Or was that your hope? I just thought... It'll be funny. I didn't know. What, I don't know what was gonna. I didn't. No, I didn't want him to get beaten up. Sure. If if if, if he did, like, if something really happened, I'd, I mean, if it went too far, Chris would have. I would. I would have <laughs> him and defended him. I always have in the outfit. past. <laughs> even when, even when he might have started it. <laughs> <laughs> but, Ride or die. But Chris like, <laughs> But it was just awkward, kind of. But then Henry was rad. But then you know what Henry, I did. Henry Rollins was the fucking coolest. You know what man. I did though, like. The second night, I actually, like the day after I moved into my house, I had some friends over, some some girls that I was friends with, and I was like, Henry Rollins lives down the street, and they're like, oh my God, I want to go serenade him, and this was like <laughs> after we are home from the bar, like like super late at night, and so we walked down the street with, one of them's got an acoustic guitar, and she starts singing um, Every Rose Has Its Thorn, like to his front door, like so loud, and I just moved in. And like, and then like, you know, like we run off, you know, laughing, and uh, and then like, the, the next night I'm just walking down the hill, like, and he's happens to be like out front cleaning his garage, and so I run into him, stupidly I introduced myself from Jackass, and he's like, and he I he had to have known it was me, and I and he's like, are you a PA? I'm like, no, I'm one of the Jackass yeah, I, I, Jackass guys, and I moved up the street, and um, it was pretty obvious that it was I was probably like involved in that serenade, but he didn't mention it, and then um. And then years later, like Rollins had uh, Knoxville on his show. Oh yeah, what show? Uh, I think it was called the Henry Rollins Show. It was on. He had a podcast. No, it was on. Oh, like a talk show. XM. It was on a channel. Some I can't remember what it was. It wasn't a very good talk show, though, to, to be honest with you, because it seemed like maybe he might have talked too much. Ah, uh, there's no shows like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like a podcast. <laughs> but but Knoxville brought up that I lived up the street from him, and he's like, oh, yeah, I was serenaded once or something like that, and that's all he said. But uh, uh, So he but, pretends to not know. He other probably than that, knew about I your never, Howard Stern I never shit. really talked to Rollins. In all eight, you know, I don't know, 15 years he probably lived by me. He, had, he moved before I did. One time someone, a bum set a fire across the street from his house. Accidentally, like their camp caught on fire, and everyone like ran down to watch the fire, and he was there. But he didn't talk to me. Like he was pretty, he was really to himself. Every once in a while, you'd see a young lady, like, like that. You could tell he was briefly dating, like, like in front of his house. But I, other than that, like, it didn't seem like he had company over very often. America. If you thought Jackass Forever was crazy, oh boy, do I have a show for you. It's a multimedia comedy show called The Bucket List Tour. And the stuff I filmed for this show is way too hot for Jackass. Like the general anesthesia bike ride, the vasectomy Olympics, and skyjacking. The footage is so intense, we have full grown men passing out at almost every city this bus goes to. So if you think you can handle it, get your tickets right now at stevo.com. Yeah. Steve-O, Steve-O, Steve-O.